नमस्कार टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट समथिंग विच एवर कॉमन सेंस विल फाइंड डिफिकल्ट टू डाइजेस्ट एंड दिस इज अबाउट एन इकोनॉमिक इवेंट विच इवन द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स वुड स्ट्रगल टू एक्सप्लेन आई डोंट थिंक एनी वन ऑफ अस कुड हैव इमेजिन इवन इन अवर वाइल्डेस्ट ऑफ ड्रीम्स दट समथिंग एज वैल्यूएबल एज क्रूड ऑयल the key input for all the petroleum products trading at negative prices not just zero negative prices a negative price means you don't have to pay anything for purchasing a commodity what is more you get paid on the contrary howsoever surprising it may sound the fact remains that the us oil prices did plunge into this unprecedented negative territory for the first time ever on 20th of april 2020 wherein producers were willing to pay the buyers to take the crude off their hands now how do you explain that economics says that any commodity if it qualifies three conditions it will command a price and it will be known as an economic goods first it must have some utility for somebody it should be scarce that means there should be scarcity of that commodity and third it should be transferable for example the oxygen in this air has utility for us and there is a scarcity of it more so with the increasing pollution level but it cannot be transferred i cannot give it i cannot take it and give it to you like this so therefore there is no price attached to it it's all free the moment you put this oxygen into some cylinder oxygen cylinder now it becomes transferable and now it commands a price also and that's why it's called an economic good crude oil apparently qualifies all the three conditions of an economic good so then how do we explain the negative prices can we use the demand supply concept to explain it let's try because of the lockdown imposed in most of the part of the world due to covid-19 there has been a drastic reduction in the demand by around 60 to 70% percent. agreed that due to fall in the demand there will be obviously a fall in the prices now much even if at the extreme we can assume that the demand has fallen to zero although that is not the case in reality theoretically speaking if i say that the demand has fallen right up to zero level the prices may also go up to zero level but how do you explain negative prices let us look at the supply side unlike any ordinary commodity wherein you can simply reduce or stop the production if the demand goes down crude oil faces a peculiar challenge oil wells can't be simply turned off and on like a tap it costs huge money to shut down the operations and even more money to start up the productions again which is why the oil producers have an incentive to keep the production flowing even if it is coming at a loss and at times paying the 
buyers to take the crude off their hands. And you can't simply take the oil out of the well and dump it just outside of the well. It has to be stored in some infrastructure like refineries or tankers or you know pipelines or some kind of storage facility. Now when the consumption has dropped so drastically down, the storage facilities are filling up fast and we are running out of the storage. Now that to a large extent, although it may not be as simple as that, but to a large extent we can say that because the cost of storing the crude the storage cost of the crude has exceeded the value of crude itself which is why the crude was trading at negative prices although it is not as simple as that there is more to it which we will come back later but largely it was technically speaking this is the gross explanation of crude oil trading at negative prices in fact to be precise the offshore producers or the ones near the sea they have an option of filling up oil tankers and which are mobile and they have large fairly large capacity but inland producers which are kind of landlocked like uh, many in us they do not have that option meaning that the pipeline infrastructure and storage facilities there is filling up fast and being overwhelmed filled up to the brim now this to a large extent also explains uh, why there are so much of differences between the prices between uh, us oil being traded at west texas intermediate wti of which the prices went into negative side and the other benchmarks like the brand crude which is the one which is most commonly used also is applicable in case of india as well and brand crude of course was uh, trading at around 18 dollar which was way above than the prices of wto wti which went into the negative territories when i said oil wells cannot be turned off and on like a tap does that mean oil companies cannot reduce their supply at all? No, they can. But only to a limited extent, given all the cost considerations. In fact, they did. Uh, in the beginning of this month, they have collectively decided to slash the oil production by around 10 million barrels a day, which is around 10% of their total production. But incidentally, the demand for oil has gone down even more drastically down by around 30 million barrels a day. That means the world today has got much more oil than what it needs. Although till around a month ago, Saudi Arabia, which is the de facto leader of OPEC countries, uh, got entangled into an oil price war with Russia as both the countries were not agreeing to cut their production levels of oil supply. Uh, thankfully, this war has finally ended recently in view of COVID-19 pandemic, uh, when all the OPEC plus countries had agreed to curtail their production so as to not let the prices drop to unreasonably low levels. Now, there is something technical. What are the oil futures contracts? Now, in order to understand the explana explanation behind the reasons for negative crude oil prices, we need to understand that beyond oil's physical characteristics, there is a quirk of markets that has sent prices below zero. Oil is mostly traded in futures contracts. And what is that? In simple terms, Future contracts are agreements between two parties with one agreeing to pay the other a defined price for a given number of barrels 
to be delivered at a set price on a particular day or in even simpler words to sell a given quantity at a set price on a particular day now since buyers and sellers have already locked in a price at which they are going to trade in future so they have kind of hedged or protected their exposure or their risk at the same time these futures contracts which are tradable in market throws open an opportunity for speculators or traders or anybody like you and i to make money if we feel that the prices are going to go up we can purchase these contracts and sell them in future any time but certainly before the date of physical delivery because people like you and i who do not deal into oil oil business will have no wherewithals to take physical delivery of oil and store it somewhere in fact with the way prices are plunging and storages are filling up fast there is no one in the market including the actual buyers of crude oil they also do not want to take the physical delivery of the oil because there is no place to store it 21st of april was the deadline when futures contracts that will deliver oil in may uh, were to expire and by the time physical delivery is required on these contracts storages are likely to be full and that is the reason why traders went into a kind of panic and prices dived deep into negative territories okay these declining oil prices does that mean that you're going to get paid next time when you go and fill your car tank at the petrol pump unfortunately the answer is no please do not expect to get paid whenever you go to fill up your petrol tank anytime soon or ever let the truth be told in fact it is highly unlikely that there would be any significant change in the oil prices you and i are going to purchase from the petrol pumps why there are three reasons to this first and foremost our prices are benchmarked against brent crude which is still trading at relatively positive levels and not against wti index which had witnessed the negative prices second crude oil prices constitute only around 1/8 of the total price we pay at the petrol pump the other and the major constituents of price of petrol are the refinery cost transportation cost taxation etc which have not changed thirdly even if there were to be any gains due to decline in the price of the crude oil it is very unlikely that the government would pass on the benefit to the consumers because again of three reasons one due to overall lower consumption of petrol during lockdown the exchequer is already struggling with the revenue loss and the government is likely to absorb gains if any due to this drop in prices to offset their losses at least partly and rightly so secondly uh, it does not make any sense uh, to expose the end consumer to these highly volatile prices with every fluctuation in the international market and it is expected that most of this volatility would be absorbed by the government level only so as to give the end consumer smooth and consistent predictable prices and thirdly a sudden drop in prices for end consumer end consumer might result into over consumption of such a 
pollution causing non renewable resource which government would not like to encourage especially when they want the automobile industry to go electric by 2030 what are the possible implications of these decreasing crude oil prices for world economy in general and indian economy in particular see while the low level of crude oil prices may badly hit the oil producing companies like countries sorry like opec russia us etc but it may actually benefit the oil consuming countries like china india uh, which may actually reduce their current account deficit and keep their inflation in check uh, however our oil companies are also going to be impacted negatively and their bad valuation may also jeopardize government's plan to disinvest from companies like bpcl in the long run there's not likely to be much impact due to such a temporary fall in crude oil prices certainly not due to any fall in the wti index right which we do not follow unless the impact spills over to brand crude index that to on a consistent or a uh, longer period of time which seems very unlikely beyond a quarter or so unless the pandemic of covid 19 uh, refuses to end what could be its impact on the climate change uh, cheap oil is generally bad for the climate change because we tend to use more of it but some analysts are forecasting that the current situation could cause long term damage to the oil industry's capacity from which it will struggle to recover banks and investors may be reluctant to put their money into restarting big fossil fuel projects at a time when there is a pressure to decarbonize energy supplies this might also act as an encouragement to switch to renewable sources of energy so for the time being let's keep our fingers crossed how things unfold in the future and till then uh, take care uh, stay home stay safe i hope you uh, must have found this video useful in understanding the economics of crude oil price movement and its macroeconomic implications thank you jai hind